Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back on a voiceover today. I know recently I've been doing a lot of like live speaking, but I'm doing a voiceover just because when I filmed this video, I really didn't know what it was gonna turn out like. So I just wanted to concentrate rather than like talk whilst doing it, if you know what I mean. So I've got four keys and I'm gonna be decorating them because now I have like multiple like places of living. Uh, I have loads of keys, so I find it really hard to remember which keys for which house because they obviously all look the same. So I came up with this really good idea to decorate them because that's what I've done with like all my chargers um, to like know what device the charger is for, if that makes sense. So I've decided to do it with my keys, which I just think is such a good idea and I'm doing it with my uh, gel because that just seems like the most logical thing to use and i have lots of gel so i thought why not film this because you guys most likely have gel too because obviously this is a mainly a nails channel i was like yeah let's just film it and see what happens and i was really i guess i just didn't know what i was gonna do i'd come up with some designs which i'd showed you on my ipad but I just didn't know how they were going to turn out. So I was kind of trial and error and seeing what works. And to be honest, it came out really, really well. So everything I did in this video works. I've had these on my keys for about two weeks now. And I've used my keys plenty of times. And there's no chipping, no peeling. So if you want to do this, then it does work. So yeah, so this is how I uh, am doing it. Uh, so first of all, I came up with a idea um, of like a pattern for each house. So I've got one for my mum's house, my granny's house, my dad's house, and just wanted to pick a pattern that represented that house, if you know what I mean. Uh, just to, yeah, to make it easy to remember. So the first key I'm doing is really pink. Uh, pink is one of my favorite colors and I mainly live with my dad. So uh, I basically designed the keys just how I wanted to to basically re represent me because uh, that's like more my house if that makes sense and you can see the tools I'm using are these um, fine line tools um, yeah just like you know I got them from Sheen like for like three pound and I'm using four different colors just to basically make if you can hear that in the background it's my dog snoring I say that in literally every video so I'm sorry but you'll have to deal with it because my dog is my life but anyway yeah so i decided on four different colors and i'm just making straight lines which is like the easiest thing if you are wanting to do this make sure you cure the gel or let the nail varnish dry in between each line because otherwise you will get running um so yes and also once i had done all these lines i went back over some of the lines just to neaten them up because some of them are quite thin some of them are quite thick as you'll see here and i did uh, neaten that up but i liked i liked how it turned out this is how it turned out i think it looks really cute like those colors of pink do look really nice and then i went in with a top coat just because that's what you do when you're using gel always got to finish with the top coat i also use a non-white top coat just because it is easier and i would recommend maybe putting some tape um where the actual key like the slotting key part is uh, just so you can have a straight line where the gel is because i kind of like free handed it and it's not completely straight which it doesn't look bad but if you would like, prefer it to be straight then use some tape because that will just work and now i'm wiping down my tile i got this tile from uh, like a um like a house i don't know what the what's the um, like a supplies, like a house supplies, you know, when you do up your houses. And it's just like a tile, and I use that to um, just to put all my gels that I'm using on each design. But anyway, so this is the next one. This is also, oh no, this is for my mother's house. So my mum has a Dalmatian. She's called Daisy, and our family dog has always been a Dalmatian. We've had a, a Dalmatian called Lottie, and now we have a Dalmatian called Daisy. And she, I asked her, I was like, what design shall I do for the key? And she was like, oh, do a Dalmatian print. So I'm doing a Dalmatian print. It kind of looks like cow print as well. Um, but I just tried to make the dots smaller to make it more Dalmatian-y because obviously the smarts are far smaller. And yeah, I'm just using a dotting tool, which I think I got from Amazon. And these gels from Models 1 
oh no, yeah, Model Wands. Uh, that, that's the brand I've not used them in a while, but yeah, this is how it turned out. You'll notice that the line is a lot straight, straighter because I just had taken a lot more care with it. I didn't use any tape, but I was just more careful with it. And now I'm putting on a layer of gel. I think you don't actually need a thick layer. You could see that I put quite a lot of gel on there, but I did end up taking quite a bit of the gel off because it doesn't need to be thick. Anyway, so this is the third design. This is for my father's house. And I just randomly picked this design. I'd seen it on someone's nails before and I was like, you know what? I kind of want this for my keys. I feel like it'd be really cute. So I am using a green, a red and a white. I also bring out a little bit of yellow just to mix in with the green. So this is me now mixing my colours. So for this design, I decided to go with strawberries. I don't overly love strawberries. Like I do like them. I do like them a lot, but like they're not my whole personality. If you got what I mean. I don't know why I decided to do strawberries. I just thought it looked nice to be honest and it did. Feel free to copy because it did turn out really cute. This is actually my favourite design to be honest. And yeah. So I'm just mixing my colours. I didn't want a really, really dark green. So I decided to add a little bit of the white to the uh, dark green because I just thought it looked better. Honestly, yeah. I literally just thought it looked better. Mix it up. Oh, my little tile. This tile has come in so handy. You don't even realise. Like, honestly, before I was using like little bits of pieces of paper and it would just get really messy because then it would leak through. I'd forget it's there, put something on top of it. Like with this towel, it's specific for what I'm using it for, if that makes sense. So it's specifically for mixing colours, you know? Anyway, so now I've got my key. I've painted it white already. I've made sure that line is pretty straight. And now I'm using a brush that I got from Amazon to make the strawberry shape, just like the red actual strawberry. And you can see they're a little bit messy, but off camera I did go in and neaten them up a little bit. Obviously strawberries are all different sizes, so I didn't want to make them more unison. I tried to make them a little bit unique. And same again with the leaves. I tried to make them just, you know, uh, not put too much effort and kind of three freehand it in a way, just to make it look more natural. Uh, and some of the strawberries had uh, more leaves and some had less. But yeah, that's what I really liked about this. And then I went in with a white just to make the little seeds. Now I wasn't too sure on what color to do the, uh, the seeds, but I decided on white and they did. it did turn out really well. Obviously the seeds are all different sizes and they're all dotted around. I didn't want to make it too neat and like put too much thought into why I wanted to put the dots. I was just kind of like doing whatever with it. And you'll see I actually added a strawberry in there off camera just because i wanted to fill the gap but yeah that's what it turned out like now i'm going in with the no white top coat from madame glam definitely don't skip this step because this just seals it all together and makes it look finished and yeah so that is the last design i had done but off camera uh, the first one i had tried out i had done this roses for my granny's house because my granny really likes uh, floral patterns so i thought you know what i'll do flowers and that makes sense. So yeah, I've got four keys now. Uh, any other keys I'm gonna get, I'm definitely gonna decorate because I really enjoyed doing this. Please feel free to copy any of these designs because if I do say it so myself, I do think they look really cute. But yeah, so I guess that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy, feel inspired to paint your own keys. I'm sure you've all got some keys that you can paint. You can use normal nail varnish or even gel is whatever supplies you have. Or maybe even acrylic paint if you've got that. I feel like that would work, but I'm so used to using gel. Then this is just my favorite medium to use. But yeah, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite key and I shall see you next week with another video. Bye.